All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are venturing into the world of GSAP and it's just a little tutorial for now. I think we're gonna gradually uh, ease into GSAP as I learn more and more about it because let's face it, GSAP is awesome and elementary animations are really not. <laughs> and of course, this tutorial is very much inspired by Webflow because uh, I don't know if you've seen this kind of animation on Webflow websites, but I have and I've been dying to try it to see how we might be able to implement this in Elementor. It's not that difficult. I made it a little bit difficult for myself at the beginning when I was trying things out, but actually it's not. And you will see, it's pretty easy. And this is just one type of animation and I will probably make an updated video in the future as I try different entrance animations or trigger, scroll trigger animations for images. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, everybody. So uh, right now this looks a little bit funny. I removed the images because we're going to add them one by one and I will explain to you uh, what is happening here. So basically I have a few containers where I've added text and images because I want to see how the images would interact basically with the text, how they would flow in terms of animations. And I have to admit they look pretty damn cool. I mean, this animation for the images, it just brings everything up a notch. So, okay, first thing we have to do every time we create one of these animations uh, and we add obviously the images, we have to give the container in which the image is in a class and the class will be container. And we will give a class of reveal to each and every image that we have on the page and not this. I have only added this here, but for example, this is a portfolio, I think, widget, because they have images and I wanted to see if basically this code will interfere with these widgets that have images. And I have to say that they don't. I also added a loop carousel where we have images. So those are not affected by this code, only the images that are added as images. That's it. All right, so as you can see here, I have added the class of reveal as well as here let's go back and it's here and the container has a class of container so i'm not gonna go over all of them this is how it goes and keep that in mind otherwise this will not work okay so before we do anything i'm going to add an html widget here and uh, we will add our code all the code in here including the styling and the styling is just one line of code that is so important and I will show you with and without to see if you omit that, things will not look the way it should. All right, so let's add an image here. So I'm gonna go with this one and yeah, I will style it just a little bit. Actually, it has, a, I've already added a border earlier, so they have a border of six pixels. All right, let's continue adding more pictures and they will be more or less random i guess and this one and here and you can skip this if you don't want to see this but you can uh, simply watch <laughs> all right so i have another two or three pictures to add Ooh, this one another one And another one here. Let's go with this one. <laughs> okay, let's maybe add another one. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I just want them to see, to be the same size. And they are more or less. Okay. So we have everything set. Yeah, we have added the classes. We have added our HTML widget. Now we have to add the code. So I'm gonna go and grab my code. And let me explain to you a few things here. So let me go down and add this in my widget. Okay, obviously nothing is happening right now, but we will preview it and everything will go very well, <laughs> hopefully. All right, so as you can see, so we have the class of reveal here 
and I suggest not changing it. Unless you change it, change it everywhere. Otherwise, this will not work. Just keep that in mind. You can name it whatever you want, but have this class added to all the images and obviously here be the same. You can also play around with these values here. I did play a lot, a little bit around with this, but in the end I decided to come back to the original because it's better. Do not change the image tag from here, from the query selector in the brackets, uh, because this will not work. This, you must leave it like this and that's it. All right, let's update and let's see how they look. And I mean, how smooth is this? How cool, right? These obviously are not working because they're not targeted by the code and that's good. We don't want all the images that we have in a, the widgets to be targeted, right? And look at this. How cool is this? And I said that I will show you how this would work if we don't have added the styles. Let me just comment out the code and let's have a look. And this is the animation that you get. If you do like this, then you can basically de delete it, delete the, the style that I have in there. Actually, it's not that bad, but it's not as, as impressive, I think, or professional looking. So I will just update again. And let's, I think this is one of the best animations that I've seen uh, for images and it's pretty modern and pretty cool. <laughs> ah, also, I think I have to address the fact that uh, my Elementor is a little bit different than you are used to. Um, as you can see, the container border and label here at uh, the top is pink as well as the button. So let me just do something. Yeah, as you can see, uh, it's pink. I'm not sure I like this. With the previous version, they had it a very dark blue. It was a little bit too dark, I think. The contrast was not enough with the dark theme of the UI, but I don't think the pink works either. So maybe something in between, I would say but not pink, please not pink. But yeah, so my version of Elementor at the moment is 3.120 beta 3, both Elementor Pro and Elementor, so yes. So let's see what Elementor plans to do with the next updates, I'm really curious. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, Please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and I'll see you next time.